Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we're playing more of Xenoblade, so let's go. <laughs> so there. So we were at Makeup Meth in the Forest. I've been um doing side quests and trying to level up my character a little bit. Um, we are here now, and that's that. <laughs> and we're going this way. Oh, are you a baddie? No, you're not bad. I'm not going around you, though. I don't feel like fighting you. Oh, well, you know what? I'll fight you. I think what I'm gonna do is... Dinosaur. Dinosaur? What's wrong with your face? Huh. Me. <coughs> I apologize for my, um... Can I fight you? I apologize for my, um... My, my voice. In games like this, you gotta stop and look around the scenery every so often. You're really missing out if you don't do that. Oh, we found Over her! There. Hey, are you okay? You. Uh. Shulk, what's wrong? Another He's vision? In... Yeah. Kind of. I'm Another not sure. Vision. But first, she needs help. You're right. Let's look for somewhere safe. There, I see a clearing under a giant tree. We can easily watch for anything approaching. Okay. I'll carry her. Jokes, just He's such a ginger man. <laughs> she hasn't sustained any serious injuries, but her condition is far from stable. Do you know what's wrong with her? Her symptoms suggest ether deficiency. It's well known that Homs are strongly affected by ether levels in the environment. But I've never seen symptoms like this before. Hmm. A sudden drop in ether content in the surrounding atmosphere causes a reaction. Symptoms range from fatigue to nausea. But in this girl's case... What can we do? We're gonna we need gather watertight stuff. ether crystals. Yep. I'll load the crystals into a cartridge to shoot from my rifle. Eh? You, you're gonna shoot her? <laughs> no, silly. I'll fire them into the air and the dispersed ether will heal her. Ah. Uh, that's what I thought. <laughs> but the problem is the crystals. We can't just use them. any old crystal. They must be as pure as possible. This area must have a water source nearby. We should search there first. I spotted a waterfall a little way back. I did too. What do you think, pretty. Charlotte? Would a waterfall produce pure crystals? I can't think of a better place. Then it's decided. I'll search for the crystals. Hey, you're not Gavin going on your, your own. I'll be okay. I need you to look after the group. Oh, is We're short on water a... too. So I'll You're fill up our himself? flask. Oh no. Hey, good idea. Take care, man. Uh oh. I don't like this. All right, let's go. Uh, I was about to say, you mean behind that big giant frog? <laughs> hey time, yay! <gasps> don't, don't see me, don't see me. Look, stop it. Wait, there's something right there. Here we go! Yes! <laughs> Alright. Graham! Graham! It's beautiful.
Huh? Oh. Uh huh? Is it the who mysterious guy? Oh yeah. Who are you? Hello there. Uh. uh hello. How unusual. It is quite rare to see a Homs in this region. I... <laughs> I suppose you're wondering why I am here in that case. Then permit me to introduce myself. My name is Alvis. Al... Alvis? Um, my name's... It's Shulk. Isn't it? Uh, how did you know that? Wielder of the Monado, defender of Colony 9, the hero that has every mech on running. You're famous amongst all Homs. I know you from somewhere. They're here. Huh? The Monado emits a particular ether wavelength in its ground state. It must have drawn them. Huh? What are they? Oh! What are they? Well, that's not good. Get out of the way! I'll deal with this myself. I love how he's just standing there. Talk. From the left? Then I'll go. Shulk. Dude. You're embarrassing yourself in front of your new friend. God, no. Oh, no. Come on. Would you help him? Stop standing there. It can't be. I saw its movement before it struck. How can it? <coughs> it is a telethia. Telethia? They can read your mind. Whether you have a vision or not, if they know your next move, it's all in vain. You... you know about my visions? How could you possibly... There is only one way. Stop it in its tracks, then dull its perception. No, Albert, stop! You don't know how to... Huh? A new symbol? Huh? He's so cool. Whoa! I had to freeze him and then kill him. Whoa! That was... amazing. I suggest you stop staring. The sword is yours to wield. What was that light? The Monado does not control itself. You control it. All right, I we're gonna fight with no it. teammate. Come on, show. the light of the Monado. I will stop them. Ah, oh, crap. Alright. Oh, I got him on my team. Okay, so that's good. I knew I looked. Oh. Now, uh, using closing the same monster era and completely personal from that thing. Another aura, killer, he has aura, so red. Reed is the first phone he's. To eliminate it before attacking, remember to replace the current case by an auto attacking so you can activate the mana. Alright, so when they're glowing green, I have to use that porch. Well, and then, okay. You see now, Shulk? That wasn't bad. Mm. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey! Mysterious man. Wait a second. More <laughs> importantly, where on Bionis did you learn to use the Monado? <laughs> they were not the primary Telethia. Merely at spawn. 
The primary Telethia dwells elsewhere in Magna Forest. Is it wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest, wounded by a girl. A girl? The Monado is a divine sword capable of disturbing the very fabric of existence. Of both the material and the immaterial. Alvis. I like this guy. <laughs> How do you know so much about the Monado? Who are you? Huh? That's Ryan. I'm over here! And he's gone. Don't look away from him. He's mysterious. They always vanish. Shulk, Gosh darn it. We looked all over for you. Thought you'd been eaten by the forest. Sorry, Ryan. I got attacked by Telethia. If it hadn't been for Alvis, I wouldn't have survived. Alvis? Who's that? The guy I'll introduce you. Oh, wait, he's, he's gone. He's the one that... Alvis? But he was... Uh, there's no one here. I'm telling um, you, he was right here. Leave him. He even taught me how to unlock a new power from the Monado. Just you and me, Shulk. Ain't no one else around. You probably passed out from dehydration and dreamt this guy up. Come oh my on. god. Really? Wait You're gonna not series. believe him <laughs> after everything you've been through? He was oh, I here, wanna Ryan. smack him. I didn't dream it. I'm not lying. Okay, okay. I believe you. And while you were having fun with your imaginary friend, did you find any ether crystals? Yes. Good quality ones, too. Perfect. Come mm, on. I'm so mad. We should hurry them back to Sharla. <laughs> Hang around here long enough and we'll get whacked by an imaginary beast. <laughs> I'm not lying. Alvis. Who are you? If you knew that, he wouldn't be myster mysterious, though. Can I get that, um, crystal, please? Where'd he go? Hiding behind a rock or something? No, he's on the rock. Obviously, right there in front of you. An enemy that renders your visions useless. This forest holds many surprises. Not least creatures we've never <laughs> seen before. And now we know there is another who can use the Monado. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to meet him. So you weren't just having a sneaky nap then? No. I'm just saying. You and Dunban are the only ones I know that can wield the Monado. How would this guy know how? Okay. Locked and loaded. Everyone, stand back. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, she's coming round. All thanks to our medic. Are you okay? Where am I? Everything's fine. You're gonna be... <gasps> Get your hands off me! Ah! Hey, watch it! F forgive me. I... I did not mean to... Uh, sorry if we surprised you. Are you the ones who helped me? Well, something like that. Excuse me. My name is Melia. Forgive my indiscretion. I have not had the pleasure of coming into contact with the male Homs. Coming into contact? Hey, Shulk. You're creeping this lady out. Mm. Shut up, Ryan. This large one is far worse. Me! <laughs> <laughs> Melia, is it? How did you get here then? What, is there no one with you? I must apologize, but my situation does not concern you. And I shall not be divulging anything to common passers-by. Duly noted, your ladyship. 
But if I were to be so bold, I'm guessing that you didn't come here alone. And you weren't just taking an afternoon nap. <laughs> and what, may I ask, are you doing here? It is rare to see Homs venture this deep into Machna Forest. We're traveling to the head of the Bionis. We've got a long journey ahead of us. The head of the Bionis? We were just figuring out how to get there when we found you. I see. Then permit me to return the favor by aiding you in your quest. Really? There is only one path to the head of the Bionis. It is the path that leads to Erith Sea. So, this Erith Sea is at the head of the Bionis? Hmm. If you would be kind enough to escort me out of the forest, I will show you the way. Okay. You, you do that? Thank you, Melia. I'm Shulk. Pleased to meet you. Shulk? Ah, yes. Likewise. <sighs> she's a bit high and mighty. But she's a Homs too, right? Why is she here alone? Ain't got a clue. Ask her yourself. I'm not good with her posh accent. We, we shall travel to the there. Nopon village. <laughs> <laughs> Nopon That's where village. we're going. That's where we've been heading. We reckon it's our best chance of making it to the top. Since inhabiting the region, the Nopon have been a great help. You can travel to Erith Sea from their village. It's settled. We'll make our way to the Nopon village. Very well. The Nopon inhabit a giant tree. If we follow this trail, we will be safe. Can you be in uh, my team now? You look really cool. Um, yes. Okay, so. <coughs> we're gonna change. No, no. Um, party. So what is she actually? Is she a halo? Because she looks like it. Your trees. I wish there was more people that fight with you. Um, spike damage. Spike ability. These monsters can automatically deal damage and then keep off. Kind of strike. Okay. Cool. Look at this. Chokes such Look at this. These looks so pretty. Her design is so good. Oh yeah, let's go see if we can change her equipment. I'm sure everything that she has is good though. Yeah, look at this. Nothing. All crappy. I have all crappy stuff. But I can give you... Yeah. I need to get more stuff. I guess that. Everything else is equipped. Alright, so we have that. Hmm. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. I like that one. That's cool. I do like that one a lot. Anything green, if you notice, I I like green. <laughs> Alright, so, it's between... The beach. Oh, that's her, um, swimsuit. Oh, that's cool. Alright. <clears throat> but I think that's not girly enough, you know? I might just keep her outfit for now, because... How about her hat? Can I change her hat? No. Her shoes don't look right to me. That's 
that's so cool. That one's so cool. Alright, anyway. Whoa. Why? Why? What, what the heck? Oh. It looks so cool in green. I will probably change her outfit later, but for now, for story purposes, I'm going to leave it like it is. Okay? Alright, let's go, ladies. The tree gate. Oh, that's the big tree. Wow. We're here. Knock on people. Greetings. Hello. Whoa. Goodness, there are big ones down there. So scared. Oh, they're not that bad. There's just giant monsters everywhere. What is that thing? What are you? 96. Why are you there? Stop being you. You. <coughs> Alright, hi guys. We're here. Ah, what a cool little village. This is the entrance to Frontier Village. So this big tree is where the Nopon live. Ah, Bird Lady. Welcome back, Bird Lady. I wish to speak with the village chief. Will you permit us to enter? My pleasure, my pleasure. I shall take you to the village chief. Follow me. Uh, bird lady? Hmm. <laughs> no one's questioning that? They're like, oh, well, she kind of does look like a bird, I guess. Yay! Beautiful! Look at them. It's so cool. It's so cute. Hi. <laughs> they all look at me. Home here. Home here. Home who? Home who? Home home everywhere. Me won't touch home home. Me won't nibble home home. No, hum -hum don't do that. <laughs> home home scary. Oh, ho, ho. Nopon of Frontier Village. Melia Antigua has returned. I request an audience with your chief. Chief, will you hear my request? Melia here. Bird lady here. Uh, Melia back. Bird lady back. Bird, Bird lady. lady. No one's questioning that. Okay, sure. My dear Melia. It's good to see you again so soon. And you look so well. And what of your men? They are at one with the Bionis. They sacrificed their lives so that I might escape. But this is not my reason for coming. These Homs need your help. Will you be so kind as to listen to their request? What could a Hom Hom need of me? They require safe passage to Aerith Sea. I see no reason to deny them. And Melia, what of you? I have unfinished business in this region. Once these Homs are safely on their way, I shall be on mine as well. That girl. Something's troubling her. We found her half dead and all alone. But I don't suppose she'll tell us the reason anytime soon. Probably not, maybe but we, we should leave help. her. 
I'll go and talk to her. Talk, just be careful. She's very. Melia, come back! Oh, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Melia! Melia, you go up the step. Guys, I'm gonna go talk to her by myself. She really went all the way up, didn't she? Melia. That's starting, Melia. Stop. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you. Wait, can I, um... This probably has to do with Melia and Shulk or something. Yep. I, I have a feeling I'm gonna come back to all these areas. I hope you can see me. Melia! Stop. Right here. Right now. <laughs> Trying to have a heart-to-heart -heart with you. My god, Melia. Here we go. Finally. Melia. Talk to me. Choke has a way with words. Melia, you're welcome to come with us. Is it true? Were you alone in the forest? <sighs> that thing must be stopped by my hand. This is my pledge to those that have died. Is it... Wounded. I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest. Wounded by a girl. Wounded by a girl? You don't mean you're going to fight the Telethia? <gasps> How do you know of the Telethia? Well, you see, long story. When I went to collect the ether crystals, some Telethia attacked me. I managed to destroy them and get away. You defeated Telethia? Who... who are you? Uh, did he tell him the story? Please tell her the whole story. The Minado. So that sword can... To tell the truth, they were the Telethia spawn. Someone told me the primary Telethia is healing somewhere in the forest. It was you, wasn't it? You hurt the Telethia. It... Melia. The Telethia escaped from our homeland and I am tasked with killing it. It cannot remain free. For the sake of my people and the Nopon, it must be stopped. Melia, we can help you defeat it if you like. Out of pity? No. Uh, why then? It's just... He's a hero. That's I, what heroes do. I want... Speak, Shulk. Or I shall be forced to summon the Nopon chief to interpret for me. I... would like to help. What could you possibly gain from aiding me? Huh? I saw it. At the top of a black tower, you and I were fighting together. Fighting that faced Mekon. I also saw you fighting a huge Telethia. It threw me the first time and all. Forgive me, Shulk, but what are you talking about? Shulk can see visions of the future. See the future? And you expect me to believe this rubbish? Believe what you want, lady. Same as I tell all the non-believers. <laughs> That'll be me, then. <laughs> oh, yeah. In any case, the only reason we got this far was because of Shulk's visions. If Shulk says he saw you in a vision, then you must be important to whatever happens next. Mm -hmm. And if you're tough enough to fight a face mech on, you're all right in my book. You've got my vote. A lady should not go unaccompanied onto the battlefield. Excuse me? I... I am quite capable of dispatching the beast alone. I require no assistance of any kind. My dear, I apologize, but I could not help overhearing. 
Their offer sounds quite reasonable. Thank you. The danger Thank extends you. I love much your further than your our hair. small Amazing. dwelling. Machna itself is at risk. And we shall provide you with the finest warrior of our clan. We hit an up on Chief Dunga. I uh, no need for thanks. He is the equal, if not better, of the Hom Hom. Who is he? You do know we're listening. The chosen Nopon hero will await you below. I shall go ahead and prepare him. I hope he's adorable. Please excuse me. Wait. A Nopon hero? Now this I have to see. Don't be like that. Let's meet him first. Um, do I have to walk all the way down to look at this? There we go. I'm here. <laughs> so that's an awesome. May okay. I introduce Herapon Ricky? Ricky. Yay, Ricky. Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, get off me. Oh, to you. Why <laughs> the <laughs> this for me? That's good. <sighs> Let him up! Help him! Hereupon! 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 Chop chop! Hereupon go forth! Hereupon get out! Hereupon make Nopon proud! <laughs> the music, oh my goodness! Introduce to you this year's legendary Herapon, Ricky! <laughs> Yay, I love him. Ah. <laughs> New Hom Hom friends, meet this year's legendary Herapon, Ricky! Ricky, live to serve! Uh. Hereupon, you say? Not sure where you'll come in handy, but the more the merrier. Sure. Are these Telethia as strong as they sound? Yes. They're quick as lightning and can read your mind. Mind-reading giant bird? No problem. I can see their movement through the Monado, but even that's not enough to get the better of them. And we're going up against the daddy version. Mm, no one the daddy version. Okay. Eyes wide open. It's music, oh my And don't forget that Melia is our only chance of making it to Aerith Sea. If anything happens to our guide, it's on our heads. The Telethia is our target. But don't forget about the person standing next to you. Dumbad's right. I am in your debt. My weaknesses are all too apparent. Oh, come on, no you're worries, fine. Melia. Ricky has been informed of the Dino Beast, what you refer to as the Talethia. Be safe, my Hom Hom friends. Ricky's friends, listen to Ricky. The Dino Beast is big and scary. Friends, get ready. Friends, help Ricky get ready. You want us to get equipment for you? Ricky's friend, right? Hum Hum Clever. Does he not even have friends equipment? Friends meet Ricky when ready. Then, friends and Ricky leave together. The attitude for a furry footrest. Dino Beast is big and scary. Great. That'll come in handy. Is it just me, or did we suddenly become Nopon mercenaries? So I, I got Melia in. 
So I need to go talk to a few people. Who are you? Ready to go? Ricky, you do know where the Teletia is, don't you? Of course, Ricky, no. Melly, Ricky, here you hurt Dino Beast. I did, but only a little. When Dino Beast hurt, Ricky, no, it go to place with ether crystals. Friends and Ricky go to place with crystals. Then we find Dino Beast. Chief, tell Ricky. Chief, always right. So you do know a thing or two about this monster. Guess we'll be searching for some ether crystals then. Melia, you know where it's at? Ricky, why are you the hereupon? Why? Because Chief Dunga chose Ricky. He chose you? So you weren't chosen from birth? Friend wrong. Chief chose by instinct. <laughs> by instinct? Why friend surprised? Chief have sharp instinct. Chief be village seer. So that's how you became the hero pawn. This is like itty mini money mo, I picked but you. But he is kind of compact for a warrior hero. Oh, Ricky owe lots of monies to village. If Ricky defeat Dino Beast, village promise to forget my debts. So Ricky like being hero pawn. <laughs> okay, I see. Huh. Wait. Every time they give me a new party member, they switch it up. Okay. I don't know if I actually... I think I'm gonna need Ryan on my team too. But Ricky's cool. Jala is the healer, so she has to stay on the team. And I really like her a lot. I wish there was more. I wish they'd at least have four people. Uh. Alright guys, so that was more Xenoblade. I will be playing more of this, so look forward to that. And if you're new, please like, subscribe, ring the bell for notification. Thank you all so much for watching. You have a good day, good night, bye-bye. <laughs>